welcome to 5 Minute Friday. I'm Holly Collins, Coordinator of Parent and Family Engagement for the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District. Today, my guest is JP Grillet. JP is a board certified behavior analyst and a multi tiered systems of support coordinator here at FSUSD. He is going to share with us some ways to create simple daily schedules that can help support effective routines and consistency for your student. Hello, today I want to share some useful information with you about how you can establish and support routines in your home. We all know how difficult these times have been in response to COVID-19. I would add that a teacher will tell you that in order to have an effective learning environment, establishing some basic routines and consistent expectations is a must, and supporting them visually can be extremely helpful. Today I'm going to show you some simple ways that you can create visual schedules to help establish some routine in your home and hopefully bring a little peace and a little calm to what is otherwise pretty challenging times. In the first example, you will see what I consider to be a very detailed schedule. You will notice that it covers almost the whole day and every activity is accounted for and there's multiple categories of activities. If you feel that a schedule this detailed will be useful for your family. There are a whole host of examples on the web. Given that most families are busy and dynamic, a detailed schedule may not be the best fit and in some ways could make things harder. The schedule you now see on your screen strikes a nice balance between the benefits of being simple, visual, and allowing flexibility and choice regarding how the day could go. What I appreciate about this schedule is that it's fairly simple and uses items you may already have around the house or can get easily. You'll notice that it has three columns, to be done, doing, and done. In this example, each priority task is written on post-it notes. Each day you can have a brief discussion with your child about what must be done. With the exception of attending a virtual class, your child can manage the folder themselves and they can choose the order in which they do tasks. The next image you see sticks with the same level of flexibility but uses laminated cards with dry erase pins. If you have access to these materials, you might find this to be the best approach for your family. There are a few key points to consider when designing your schedule. First, if you don't have these materials available, you can take the basic ideas above and use a pen and piece of paper. Think about what must be done, what the priorities are for the day, for example, attending virtual class on time or a chore or something along those lines. Avoid trying to build in every aspect of the day. Allow some fun activity and choice for your child. Consider allowing your child to start the day by choosing a preferred activity and then have them choose something they might not like to do so much next. Keep in mind that designing and implementing a schedule means that you are establishing some expectations and yes, from time to time your child will want to avoid it. It's very important that you provide lots of praise and recognition when your child learns to follow and manage their schedule, especially they more learn to do it on their own. Set a goal with your child. If your child follows through with their schedule each day, allow them to earn something extra. It may be extra time with a family member, computer time, choice of food. It really depends on what's available in the home and the preferences of your child. Keep it positive and stress upon your child that using the schedule and following through helps the whole family. Don't get too stressed and rigid about the day's schedule. If you find that a day could just not go as planned, let it go and start over the next day. Don't give up, but allow yourself some trial and error. On the FSUSD website, there is a brief guide that goes into more detail about how to build and manage and use daily visual schedules. There you may find answers to additional questions. Finally, if you think that finding the right approach to visual schedules is valuable, there's an immense amount of resources and examples about daily schedules and routines on the internet. I hope you found this short video helpful, and I hope that it at least gets you to think about the value of using schedules and routines in your home. Thank you. Thank you, JP. In the box below, you will find a link to a guide with more details about creating and using a daily schedule. You will find additional links to helpful information, including my email address, engage at fsusd.org, where you can send any suggestions for upcoming episodes. So be sure to check out the box below, and we'll see you next time on 5-Minute Friday.